Hey, welcome back to my channel. I want to tell you about a contest we're holding. We will be going live on February 1st to announce the winner of this bracelet. It's a very a piece from my very own jewelry business. Now what you need to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any of my videos to enter the contest. Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss the differences between demons, angels, and ghosts. We're going to begin speaking on angels. Do angels exist? Oh, yes, they do. Where did angels come from, and what is their purpose? Well, the best place to find these answers is in the Bible. Angels were created by God but did not always exist. We do know that God created the angels before he made the universe. Because in Job 38, 7, says, When God created the heavens and the earth, and all the angels shouted for joy, by this we know they existed before humans. In scripture, we're told that angels have many roles used to fulfill God's missions, and some of them are messengers, holy warriors, and some protect, the, protect and direct people on God's behalf. They all worship and praise the Lord, and we all were assigned a guardian angel at birth. Psalms 91.11 For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Matthew 18:10 See that you do not despise one of these little ones for I tell you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my father who is in heaven Have you ever been in a situation where you felt like you you cheated death by a thread and couldn't even understand how in the world you survived or ever felt an overwhelming sense of calm and comfort after something has happened or just felt like everything will be okay? Have you ever had a stranger that approached you and ministered to you or spoke to you either while you were in a moment of danger and maybe not even in danger but then felt a, an extreme sense of peace and calmness? And then it just disappears. That was likely your guardian angel. Angels usually work discreetly, but they can and often do take human form. As you see in Hebrew, Hebrews twelve twenty one, do not forget to entertain strangers, for by doing so, some have unwittingly, unwittingly entertained angels let me tell you I've had three encounters with my guardian angel and maybe in a, another video um, I will share that with you it's a pretty long story so we'll just see what happens so this goes to show just always be kind to strangers because you just never know if that's an angel you're enter entertaining. Which would be pretty cool. So now that we know where angels come from and their purpose, how did demons come to be? And, and what are their purpose? It basically all started with Satan now, Satan was once Lucifer, which means star of the morning. Satan held a high-ranking position in the angelic host. He was full of beauty and great wisdom. Not just smart, but he had great wisdom. So can you imagine what it must be like to have all this wisdom and just to know so much? Well, he was given a position of great power and influence as a guardian cherub. 
You were the model of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. You were anointed as a guardian cherub, for so I ordained you. You were on the holy mount of God. You walked among the fiery stones, fiery stones, sorry. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Through your widespread trade, you were filled with violence and you sinned. So I drove you in disgrace from the mount of God. And I expelled you, O guardian cherub, from among the fiery stones. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty, and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. So I threw you to the earth, a spectacle of you before kings, how you've fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest side of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet you shall be brought down to Shiloh, to the lowest depths of the pit, Isaiah 14, 12 through 15. This is very much the same exact mindset and spirit of Nimrod, which led you, lead you to believe that he could have been taken over by Satan in order to build the Tower of Babel, to ascend to heaven and make war with God until God stopped him. Now when Satan fell, he didn't fall alone. One third of the angels followed him. These are the fallen angel, angels or demons as we call them. These demons do the bidding of their God, Satan. Although Satan is fallen, he is still very powerful spirit being with a very well-organized group of demons who help him to accomplish his purposes. Their purpose is to lie, steal, kill, and take you as far from God as possible. Their only purpose is to work 24-7 looking for ways to get your soul. If they can possess you to destroy the mind, body, and spirit, they will. If they can lie and make you believe the lie, then they got you. These fallen angels have had sexual relations with human women in the Old Testament days, which produced the Nephilim offspring, which are the giants. They bring constant evil and confusion upon the earth by taking and possessing world leaders in order to do their bidding and to go after God's people. For now, Satan controls this whole world. And he controls the politicians and he controls the earth. We have to remember that for now, this is Satan's, Satan's kingdom and we are just the pawns and he has great influence over being able to deceive you and lie to you and take you as far as he can from God. He's very good and crafty at influencing the minds of our politicians. And we have seen leaders. many of our world leaders that have turned evil or were naturally evil before they took power. Hitler was one of many leaders that was possessed by a demon, if not Satan himself. And now that we know their time that, that they know that their time is short, you can look around and just see how hard at work they are. Evil is literally all around us. Just in the same way that God gives the angels free will, he also gives us free will.
The angels who fell with Satan did so by their own free will. And no matter how tempted you are or how much they try to get you to sin, you need to resist it with everything in you. It's getting easier and easier for us to be unforgiving towards one another. Angry, easily ang to, to anger, hateful, envious, bitter. Does it feel like those feelings are so strong and seem to come from nowhere? It's because Satan is working overtime, non-stop. He knows his time is so short now. His demons have been assigned to work on you over time, non-stop. So you have to put on the full armor of God and resist it no matter what. In the name of Jesus, train yourself to watch your every step, your every word, and you, your every single thought. And don't allow evil to slip in. You need to train your mind on all of these things in order to become an expert at overcoming evil. All right, let's move on to, to um, ghost. Well, Susie, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but that wasn't your recently departed grandma that paid you a visit last night, sweetie. Demons can and will disguise themselves as your long lost loved one who has passed away. I get so tired of hearing stories of people when they say they've been visited by someone that has passed away. Or people who say a house is haunted by ghosts of people who died in the house. Or these psychics who talk to the dead. If a house is actually haunted, it's a demon, a fallen angel. So if someone came to you and you saw or heard your dead loved one, that wasn't your dead loved one. It was a demon feeding on your mourning and your sadness, and they are deceiving you. Okay? Dead people do not come back to haunt you or to speak to you. If one of Satan's greatest, th this, this is actually one of Satan's greatest deceptions because it's written in the Bible, okay, that the dead are asleep and know nothing. When you die, your spirit returns to God, who gave it, and your body returns to dust. The dead know not anything. Okay, so don't be deceived by this. If Satan can make you believe this lie, then he's already got your soul. Because you chose to believe the lie after it's already been written in the Bible, where the dead are. They're asleep, waiting for resurrection. Okay. Satan's first lie was, ye shall not surely die. Don't let him deceive you. Out of your eternal inheritance. In the same way that he deceived Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden. Okay. If we were reading our Bibles, we would be wise with the truth and God would fill us with his holy word so Satan couldn't easily deceive us with a lie. There is only angels and demons, God and Satan, so don't be deceived. Satan hates you and is jealous of you. Jealous and hatred are some of the very things that destroyed Lucifer. Follow after the Lord. He loves you very much. Satan is lie. He will use your weaknesses to come against you. Lately, I've been feeling angry for no reason, and it's bad. But I pray to God to put his hands over me, to put peace in my heart, and send an army of angels to fight for me. Because this spiritual war for your soul is getting extremely intense. Just resist anything Satan does. Jesus' name alone is so powerful. 
so. Until next time, be safe and keep God close. Amen.